So as we move into our agenda, I want you to think about a couple things. How is the pyramid structured today? We shouldn't ask the question, can we change it? Trying to change millions of people is a fool's mission. So let's remember, let's look at what do people see and what they don't see. Our society is designed to hide people like a brick wall from the reality of what's around them. And it works out pretty well, but let's not question it. Let's look at some ex more examples. People don't know, want to know where the oil and the meat come from. People complain that they want better teachers and lower property taxes. What about the budgetary realities of that? Anybody who promises that, even if it's not realistic, is the one who's going to get elected. People are angry at oil companies for destroying the environment and for making so much money, yet they own the oil companies, but they're not aware of it. They own mutual funds, which own oil company stocks. Very, very important to know that the stock market has evolved into a system to control information, to hide information. The system is designed that way. And let's not question if it should be. Let's just accept the fact that it is. And the worst one of all is the religious and spiritual dogma, the hype around religion without any true wisdom. Again, it's that herd mentality. So let's really keep in mind that we have a stable system. We have the individual and we have the pyramid. And we have a mass market marketing machine which helps them to choose their politicians and to choose which products. We don't want to mess around with that right now. So what is our agenda? Today, for the remainder of the day, we're going to focus on what exists at a micro level, an individual, an organization. How does human behavior affect the kind of decisions that are made, the intelligence in an organization, people's personalities? Why are people like this? What are some of the characteristics of people and how does that work inside an organization? What is the reality of why decisions are really made? Why are so many people confused and frustrated? It's all by design. And we'll get into some more detail about that. And that's really what day one is about. It's not about judging whether or not that is right or wrong. Not about saying, I want to change it. What exists today with clarity? Day two, taking that information and applying it in a more broad perspective. How do we use that information to manage our investments and our companies in various markets and the government and the media? Again, not focusing on should we change it? Why is it like that? What is and how do we work with what we have? And then day three is how do we ensure that we have a continual supply of people to feed this pyramid? What is the nature of our pyramid? What is the nature of pyramids throughout the world? And what does the future hold considering the meltdown? What evolutionary path are we on? And is this meltdown in our environment a blip or is it a fundamental shift? And so finally the question is, who is at the top? Somebody has to be at the top. And it might as well be us. And we get paid very well for it, but with that comes a responsibility for all this money we get doesn't mean anything if another Katrina comes at a worldwide level and wipes it out like that. It's our responsibility for ourselves and for our children to understand that. If you look at our diagram there, you see that we have evolved to create the orchestrators, the thinkers of today, and people have by choice decided to become couch potatoes, have decided to really focus on entertainment, and that's fine, that's their choice. But keep in mind what's really happening here, we're going to get into more of this in day three, is that the human race really is splitting apart into the orchestrators, the people who have chosen to really focus on a higher level of thinking and those who have chosen to go on a different path. And so it's very interesting because we're creating a split in the human race. And that's where evolution comes in and we'll get into some of that detail. Very, very exciting.